742. We're back with more of our Rawson Report series this week, Save My Life. Today, National Investigative Correspondent Jeff Rawson is here with a very timely warning. Jeff. Yeah, it really is. And this is supposed to be the happiest time of the year. But did you know most house fires happen right now during the holidays? One of the biggest causes? Yes, your Christmas tree. Turns out many people are making a simple mistake that could mean the difference between life and death. Just days ago, a Christmas tree catching fire in Missouri, erupting in flames, setting this whole house on fire. The family barely made it out alive. In California, this house up in flames, too. Again, all starting with their Christmas tree. Everything else happened right away so quickly, so I was just trying to hurry everybody up and get everybody out. Turns out it's common, and if you're caught inside, deadly. Christmas time, these happen all over the country. They're tragedies, not only one or two kids, but it can be entire families. Because when these trees burn, they explode in flames in seconds. Why? Your tree is too dry, not getting enough water. We are testing it out with the Sacramento Fire Department. This is the kind of Christmas tree you probably have in your home right now. As you can see, it is decorated, full of ornaments, and it has not been watered in days. The way these fires normally start, a small little spark somewhere in your house. And what we're going to do is we're going to set a spark here and set this tree on fire, see how fast it burns. We're going to get out so we're safe. Let's do it. Fire in the hole. Within seconds, it's an inferno. The tree fully engulfed. Whoa, that smoke. Ugh. Within seconds, look how that just overpowers you. Definitely. This is what happens in your home when you don't water your tree. Literally every minute it'll double in size. It's like having a huge piece of kindling in the middle of your living room. And watch, it's already spreading to the table and chair. The entire room is on fire. If I'm in my house, am I supposed to get a fire extinguisher and put this out? That's the biggest mistake that people make is try to stay within their home and try to fight this Christmas tree fire. Get out of the home immediately and call 911. All right, so we've cleared all the smoke out of this room now and we have a new Christmas tree here. This one has been watered, so let's see what happens. Let's strike that flare and spark it. But look, the firefighter can't even get it to light up, and he's trying. It finally gets going. It is burning a lot slower than the dry tree. With this wet tree, it takes almost twice as long to ignite. Just look at the side-by-side. -side. Dry tree on the left, wet tree on the right. Huge difference. What are the tips here? You want to make sure that you water your tree every day, or at least every other day. You also want to keep it away from any heating elements, like a portable space heater, a radiator, and most of all, you want to check your Christmas tree lights. Anything like this, any frayed or damaged lights, you want to make sure that you keep that off of your Christmas tree, because that can be an ignition source. Every year, people use the same lights. They'll put it in the attic, they'll bring it back. Check it for something like this before you put it up. Absolutely. Simple advice to keep your family safe. By the way, Savannah's one of those people you use the same lights every single I year. I do, and they're cheap, too. And it's fine to do that. Just check them to make sure they're not frayed. And by the way, there are other things in your home that could spark at this time of year. Experts say never leave candles unattended. And if you're cooking on a stove top, keep a pan nearby in case that catches fire as well. They also uh, suggest making an escape plan for your family in case Smart. something like that happens. Yeah. What do we have tomorrow? I learned a lot of that one. Yeah, tomorrow, more of our special series, Save My Life. What to do if you get stranded in your car during a winter road trip? It happens, believe it or not, to thousands every year. Suddenly the big storm hits and you have nowhere to go. We're talking about big cities to the middle of nowhere. It happens in Chicago, Atlanta. Drivers have gotten stuck on major freeways. Well, now we're going to show you how to survive until help arrives 24 to 48 hours later tomorrow here on Today. All right, Jeffrey, thank you very much.